you know, it's on Tuesdays, so but it starts in April. Okay, I have Zooms on Tuesdays for the for March, but I don't in April. Cool. Can I ask for advice on something stupid? Sure. Okay. So when David stayed over, I didn't really think about it. I didn't really think anything about it. Like he met up with me in the middle of the night, which apparently is like a booty call thing, which I didn't really realize when someone comes over at nine o'clock because I'm always up late and I always just see people at late, so it's nothing. But Lindsay laughed at me about it. Um, <laughs> and he ended up giving me a gift. He gave me this like leather leather wrap thing and he I didn't have any food in my fridge so he drove me around town and jumped in all these dumpsters to get food for me and was like jumping in like ripping apart these bags being like do you want cabbage and I was just standing there holding a light being like yeah thank you and then he stayed over and he stayed up really late with me and like asked me how I was doing and we had these chats and he gave me a back massage for an hour and then in the morning I was like can you leave and I sent him on his way and then I apologized for it after and then as soon as he left, I've just been like, every night that I get home, I, I would like him to be in my bed. <laughs> and we were supposed to hang out a couple days ago. Um, we were supposed to hang out yesterday and he was supposed to meet me after work, but his bike got stolen and he commutes everywhere on his bike. So he didn't end up coming. And then the day before he invited me to a, a sound healing bath at a yoga studio. And I was supposed to see a friend and they didn't have the money for it. So I, I communicated with him, but he's also one of the people that doesn't use their phone a lot, doesn't use Facebook a lot, and is very like disconnected in that kind of way. Oh, look how cute she is, <laughs> you little cat. Um, so it's been really hard for me to get a hold of him. And I feel, I'm feeling a guilt because of Nigel, and, but I'm also feeling this giddiness of like this new love and like this lust and like kind of like, oh, I don't know. And wanting to invite him everywhere I go and wanting to see him. And I, I ran home the other day because we were supposed to hang out and I thought that maybe, I ran all the way from downtown to James Bay, non-stopping because I thought he might be outside of my house. Just, just the thought of him maybe being outside of my house made me run. Wow. Yeah, and I don't know, like I'm feeling this feeling like I want to clean my room so I can, his bike got stolen. I'm like, I want to give you my bike. And like, I'm just like, I want, I want to give you my skateboard. And like, I want to like make it so everything in your life is easy. And he was like, I wanted to make a resume. And I'm like, I will help you make a resume. And I'm like, take my bike, take my skateboard. Like, I'm just feeling this, like, I want you to be really happy. And I also feel this guilt of kicking him out and being kind of rude to him in the morning. And I haven't seen him since, but he's all I can fucking think about. And it's like at night I'm going to bed and I'm like thinking about him and thinking about him and I, I went for a walk on the new moon and I had to sit in this chair and I was like I don't know how I feel about this and then I'm still talking to Nigel and he's doing his herbal apprenticeship and he was like oh I love you so much da, 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 da. and I'm like I love you too <clears throat> and I've almost in a sense started putting this loving energy that I feel for this other person in my relationship because I feel more love in my heart. So I'm, and then this other person, it's really hard to get a hold of. So I'm taking that love and I'm giving it to my partner. <clears throat> but in my way, I mean, I'm I'm going out in a different direction. I don't know, like, and then I, I, I didn't think that he liked me. And now I'm like kind of oblivious because I mean, if I like someone, I would give them gifts and an hour of massage and stay over at their house. And I feel like that all the signs that he likes me are there. Like, I, I don't know, I didn't think he did, but now I'm thinking about it and I'm hyperanalyzing it. I'm like, I think so. And yeah, I don't know. That that means that he likes me, right? And what do I do? <laughs> I think you got to clear it up with Nigel before you start anything new. Yeah, and I was thinking that as well. And I was like, maybe that's why he got his bike stolen. It's because if you know that night I was thinking he could stay over again, and I was, and then he got his bike stolen, and then I started feeling this. Maybe he got his bike stolen, so he didn't come see me and stay over and create more of an issue in my life, and then him start getting more feelings, and then it'd be harder for him. I mean, it sounds like on the one hand, this is blasting off and this other one had cascaded down, but now it's going to surge up because he's going to think that things are getting better or you're better because you're loving. And I mean, if he finds out or you tell him, I mean, that's what you want. I mean, it's, it's the same thing that happened before. Yeah. But this time, I mean, I told you, I mean, you're going to devastate him. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I, if you're asking me, I say break it off with Nigel and break it off in such a way that, you know, it's 
like if you go <laughs> it's it's funny anything i say the opposite always occurs anything i i suggest or think about never happens i don't know why people ask me anything i, I could I can tell you anything and it doesn't matter. No, people need to have a different input on situations and different perspective and see things from a different viewpoint and then make a decision from there. But it's also good to ask someone that has experience as well to see, you know, what their views are. And, you know, everyone's got to learn it on their own terms and on their own way. Okay. I'm just saying that it sounded pretty clear. I mean, maybe you just were in that period of not liking them. But when you get to that place of really not liking him, I mean, there's obviously something hugely wrong and you're going in different directions and that's what he wanted. And now you're being tested by something very strong. And it's, it's about, I said this before, it's navigation, right? It's like you have the power to attract a lot of people. You just don't know it yet. So it's, if it's this guy, it's another guy, there's this, this, this. Believe me, they'll be around you like buzzing bees if they think you're single. And then there's Nigel in the background. And, you know, how are you going to end it? Or how are you going to transform it? Or are you going to be honest with it? Are you going to afford with an openness? Like, what are you going to do? That's your big question. Now. Well, ideally, I would love to be like, okay, you're going to be on Cortez full time. You're going to be six hours away from me. You're going to be two ferry rides away. You know, you're not staying over every night. You're not wanting to do these adventures with me. You're not showing up for me as a partner. Is it okay that if I have someone come in and spend spend that quality time with in Victoria when you're not around? So in that way, <laughs> no, but that's no, is that too much? I mean, ideally, no, no, no. that's that's not. No, I thought that would be so good. No. I mean, he's obviously, I mean, the way you're talking, it's again, like, it's like a fireball. It's like, I said, you know, give some months, give some weeks, give a day. You didn't even give a fucking 24 hours. I know. I didn't, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect, I didn't expect that. I just, I was just hanging out with a friend and then suddenly they were in my bed. And then suddenly I couldn't stop thinking about them. I didn't know that was going to happen. I just gave him a place to stay because he had a yoga class in the morning. I didn't know that, you know, I was going to, and the, I think the biggest problem that switched me actually, because the day, the day after that, Nigel stayed over. And when I was going to bed with this other person, we were like giggling and laughing and we were like butting heads and just like being very playful and silly and goofy. And then Nigel stayed over and it was like 1130. And I was like, oh, Nigel, I can't sleep. And he was like, you always do this. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, every night you say you can go to bed, but then you don't fall asleep. And I wouldn't actually be trying to go to bed right now if you told me you weren't fucking tired. And he's like, you do this every night for four years. He's like, I would have stayed up if I knew that you were awake, but you told me you were going to bed and now I'm half asleep. Can't you just let me sleep? If you would communicate with me properly, I would probably be sleeping on the floor or I'd be sleeping somewhere else. This is why I don't sleep over. It's because you don't let me sleep. And it was like this switch between this guy the night before who was like, how's your day? Like, <laughs> to like, you always do this, stop. And- Yeah, I mean, what, what is this a big surprise for you? Like, <laughs> what is- I started thinking with this, other, with this other person, it's, it's less, what? it's no. less. It's, it's not love. Like what I have with Nigel is love. Okay. Love. I know, but I'm, I'm just saying one is on the way out, one is on the way in and you're, and you're wondering why they're so different. Like, this is a, this is some question. I didn't even know the person liked me until they were giving me a back massage for an hour and a half. <laughs> I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> Said the flower to the bee. <laughs> this person's really hard to get a hold of, and I also haven't seen them, and it's been like three days. You know, since you I know. saw them. You know what I find a little either ironic or humorous is that they're, they're going to try to, to get us to have vaccinations or we won't be able to travel and that's going to affect us all. And yet everybody, everyone out there, 98% of their attention is on their romantic yes or no's or their, their, their instant stuff. Personally. I've given up. I thought about that. I gave, I've given up. Honestly, I'm not going to get the vaccine. And I feel like that is 
I feel like that itself is a rebellion. Well, and when I make that, a, that choice and I have to keep the people in my video. circle on that choice, it will is something. Will you make me a two minute video? Yeah, I will. About how you feel about not being able to travel or having a vaccine passport. That's a real thing that's happening, right? Yeah. Fine. Okay. Can you make me a two minute video? Have you made the old growth two minute video yet? I think we need to educate ourselves on the law. Because did we can you, do anything if we learn about the law. Knows. Did you make the old? I'm going to law school and then I'll travel forever. In the Canadian law, they can't legally detain you anywhere and they can't legally make you do anything against your own will. So, I mean, anytime that you get vaccinated or anytime you get stopped at a border or anything like that, and you allow those authorities to take control of your being, you are not educating yourself enough on the law or speaking on your own power through the Canadian's Rights Act. Rights Act, right, Rights Act, right. <laughs> I think we just need to create less passive people and people that are ready to be like, no, I know the law. Leave you me mean like people up. who are actually doing something like making the video, the two minute video. I couldn't even interrupt you. You're pretty strong. Two minute video for the old girl. You know, it's funny. I stayed up four hours last night researching Aries and Pisces compatibility because this guy's in Aries. I can stay up four hours doing that, but I can't make a fucking two minute video. Oh, okay. We're fucked, man. We are so doomed. But okay, I think my question is, I've, it's been, I've been getting shitty responses from this guy. It's only been how long? Like three days. Don't worry about it. It's, like, it's important to me. He lost his bike. You said you can't get contact with him through the normal channels. Chill out. He'll come see you and then you'll, you know... He'll start to get the idea that you got the idea and he'll be around there all the time, I tell you. I don't know. On the 12th, he was like, I will see you tomorrow unless you're somewhere nearby. I can meet now. And then it was like, I'm off work and someone stole my bike. And then it's just like, I did not making it down and it can let you know the next day. <laughs> <laughs> something, something came. Well, that's part of it. I mean, it's just like the universe has given you a chance. To figure my shit out? Well, just deal with Nigel, man. You're he's in fucking he's his first day of school. You know what happened after I was like, I don't know how I feel about things. I called him and he was like, I spent four hours researching how to kill myself. <laughs> and I was like, OK. And then he's like, I start my first day of school tomorrow and I don't know how it's going to go because I'm so fucking depressed and I want to die. And I was like, get over here. Like, how can I cheer you up? Uh, have a good day at school. I pack lunches. You know what's going to happen. I want both. I want fucking both. I'm, I want both. Okay, well, then you'll get it. You just got to. Let him know and he'll he'll deal with it, I guess, right? No, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, he's gonna fucking start a hitman. He's probably writing a journal entry about all the pain I've caused him in the last four years, every night before he goes to bed. And then I'll be another ticker. Well, do you understand? Like the, you know that, and yet you're saying this other stuff, and yet you don't seem to be acknowledging the uh, severity of the situation. But I mean, it's not even that severe because nothing's happened. It's of course severe. not. Nothing's happened because nothing. It just this is this is you with binoculars seeing the train wreck coming. This isn't the train wreck. You're not in the train wreck, but you just know the circumstances are set up that the train is heading this way. There's there's the the conductor's drunk, and the, uh, the timing's quick. But also, I feel like I am the drunk train, train conductor. Conductor. For, for oh my sure. god, I sound drunk. Sure. Like, like I'm doing the part really well, <laughs> and uh, I'm just saying boop boop all aboard. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Huh? Why are you inviting everyone all aboard? We should be social distancing." And I'm like, "No, it's a train party." <laughs> yeah, I'm on the mountain with the glasses, watching from a distance, and you're radioing me, going, "Hey, I got this plan." <laughs> How do you think it's going to work? Did you and I'm up here going, uh, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe you should slow down the train. And you're going, what are you talking about? 
I'll head for it. I thought I would slow down the train. I should slow down the train. I don't know. You're moving. You're moving. Uh, but I guess I guess it's bad. It's bad that I, I feel this way about this thing. I, and I don't think it's bad. I think it's it's as you said, came out of nowhere. These things happen, but it's just I would say the timing is probably bad in a sense that. Um, well, I hung out with him when Nigel broke up with me. So I was like, I'm broken up. And then I and then I was, Nigel was like, I'm going to kill myself. And I was like, love you. Yeah, that's a, t a tough one to deal with, especially if you hear it a lot at different times. You kind of, hmm, because it's such a. To me, it's such an emotional ploy. Like that's the worst type of emotional ploy. I think I'm gonna have a secret affair with Nigel and Cortez. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am at such a point in my relationship where he won't even like. All I've asked for the last four months, I was like, "Can you stay over every once in a while, and we can have coffee and breakfast in the morning?" He stands over. And then yells at me all night. I thought, you know, I, I started going like this to him when he was sleeping. I like, I was just, I was trying to actually hurt him while he was asleep. Cause I tried to grab his arm to put it around me to cuddle and he goes, Ugh! and so I just started jabbing him. And then I wake up in the morning and he makes me a cup of coffee to tell me that he's leaving and he has a bunch of errands he has to do. And I'm just lying there half asleep and he's like, I have to go. I was like. Well, I mean, it, maybe I'm crazy, but it sounded to me as if you guys had broken up again. You had figured out, okay, finally it's over. You reached a point where utter disgust, and now, because of whatever, you, you sort of, it's not. Yeah. And now you're in an even worse situation because yeah. now he's guilt tripping you to the yeah. max. See, I, I just think. Some breakups, you got to be like, you know, fucking Darth Vader, man. You just got to cut it and slice it and end it. I don't know. Like, ideally, I wouldn't have to cut anything and I'd have my little world in Victoria and I'd have my little world on Cortez. And I could come to Cortez every, like, maybe twice a, week, twice a month or something and stay with Nigel on the weekends. And then I'd have my little world in Victoria with this other person. And it could be this awesome balance where I help Nigel with his project and stuff like that. And he's free to do whatever he wants when he's there. And then I'm you know, entering my little realm. And together, we still enjoy each other's company. And we're good friends like that. I mean, honestly, I feel like there would be no difference um, to how our relationship is now, except I wouldn't be so emotionally depraved. Then, then, then make that agreement. Yeah. Yeah. But then also, I mean, I, I only hung out with this guy once. Doesn't matter. You're not doing it for this guy. You're just telling him, you're saying, this is what I want, or this is what I need. I need when I'm with you, I'm with you. When I'm in Victoria, I have my own life. And yeah. I can see other people and I will see other people. Yeah. And you have to deal with that. But I don't want to see anyone else except this guy, apparently. <laughs> that's that's irrelevant because it's the principle first. Because if he knows you want to do it to see a guy right away, it's going to be a lot more hurtful. Mm -hmm. If you want to hide it, yeah, create the agreement first. And then you can hide it. And then there you go. Yeah. But if you don't do it in that sequence, I just think you're, you're going to be dealing with a lot with Nigel. You'll have it beautiful on one hand, and on the other hand, you're going to be in, you know, emotional sadness. I mean, that seems to be the norm for you guys. Yeah. And you guys are in a storm, or you guys are in a, you know, I don't know. I think when things get really bad, people need to separate, have their own time, do their own thing, and regain their own sense of individuality, mm -hmm. regain who you are, and then re-examine the relationship. Why do you put the relationship ahead of you? Yeah, right? You know? Right. Yeah. I feel very strange about how this, this sequence of events has happened. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> I just don't think I've ever really, like, fantasized, not fantasized, but romanticized 
another person to this extent in probably like a year. I don't know. I also go through this thing where like I meet someone, I really, really, really like them, and then I get to know them more, and then I, I, I'm like, never mind. I didn't think you. I don't think you actually are who they thought you were. That's bound to happen. But you know, three months, three months. I mean, there's all different types, right? But I'm just saying that in transition, that's where a lot of the big mistakes happen. I just don't want to destroy everything that I built with Nigel just for one fling that might not work out. I mean, from. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what? Well, either you have a great capacity to forgive or you, you sort of lose touch because you're in such a euphoria over here, you're losing touch with where you were just before. Totally. And why? Mm -hmm. And so. You know, again, like I don't, once I sort of see the remedy, I don't see any, any reason to keep on talking about it. It's like, <laughs> you gotta do is deal with it, but up to you to deal with it. But I mean, make the agreement and then it's up to you. Yeah. But if you avoid it, procrastinate it, it'll get harder and harder because you're going to get more and more attached to this other guy. And it's, you know, he's going to know. You're going to tell him at some point. Well, I already wanted to tell him. It was like a couple nights ago before his first day of school. And I was like, hey, I have a bunch of stuff on my mind. I need to have a chat. And then I guess he fell asleep and didn't answer my text. And I was like, you know, I don't have to tell him everything all the time. I was like, I'm just going to open the door and let the cat out. But like, I immediately wanted to tell him and have it open for discussion. And just get it off my chest as soon as it happened. But that didn't end up working out. Well, if you have that chat. <laughs> but now I don't want to have that chat. I think that'll go bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a dumb idea of mine. <laughs> well, it's funny to, to talk with you about it because you're very candid and you're very honest. But, you know, I well, I even was like, okay, I'm going to meet up with this guy and I'm going to look him in the eyes and tell him all the shit about my relationship and the time that I really like him and this and this and this. And then he just sent me this really fucking crazy love triangle. And then I was like, oh, his bike's stolen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every time I've tried to make a mess out of this, something happens that just like someone's asleep, someone can't come. I like, you know, it's it's kind of on this weird, like, Literally everything's like figure your shit out or else this isn't gonna work. <laughs> Have you met this person? I met them at the collective, so maybe you met them. Who? <laughs> What's his name? His name's David. Did I meet him? Yeah. I did. Yeah. What does he look like? Did you meet him? I don't know. He's, <laughs> he's like got very long, uh, curly, like blondish, brownish hair. He's like a bigger, um, kind of like, I don't know, Aries. So like bulkier yoga dude, bikes. He's like really good friends with Tree. He was probably on the other side, not the Tom side. Um, he was friends with Jackie and Mira and Tree and stuff like that. And, Speed He's probably hanging out here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, my memory is vague at best. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> if someone asked me that question about another group of people, there, <laughs> I'd be like, um. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Well, okay. all, I, all I know is this is going to get funny. And I want to play. I was thinking of, like my life should just be like a sitcom comedy show. I was thinking I should make a TLC drama called My Life with a Bald Head or something, and like just have it be dramatic, like TV sitcom. Um, Oh, yeah. 
Hey, look at this. I'm just here. Let me see if I can find it. I got a really good way to do divinations. Good Is it choose a remedy? No. Okay, choose a remedy is now now differentiated. If you sign up, you get one a day. What? That's crazy. That's fucked. I don't like that. That's that's some <laughs> scarcity. But that's for the one people. a day. Come what on, doesn't anyone see what I'm going through? I need like 50 of these. <laughs> Why am I doing you guys are holding out. You, because of your undying um, support, you get the premium program, which means you can get as many as you want. Right? How does that work? Do I just email and like write in the little comments below? Like I have a, my life is chaos. I need a million. <laughs> um, activate. Do I Captain, message Captain, no Captain Sweep is the activator. That, is that the password? <laughs> oh, I mean, I'll set it up. Wait, so I can't go on my phone and just Google it? Why Why do you have to, why is it only one a day? I'm like, oh. Because it's like people, if they use, if they use remedies, if they use it too much, they it can just ruin it. You got like 50 remedies going and no, you got to be focused and- Okay, maybe week, I'll just do one a day then. Maybe I'll just do one a day. Well, you said you weren't doing any. Well, I mean, when I do do them, like I don't know, my remedies are, are not like you know not intentional. Sometimes I'm like, should I get Thai or should I get curry? Like <laughs> choose my remedy. <laughs> I'm like, should I go kayaking or should I go paddle boarding? Choose my remedy. Should I move to this island or this island? Choose my remedy. Should That's I be with exactly this partner? Point. This partner. Choose my point. remedy. <laughs> should I set my alarm at ten o'clock or eleven o'clock? How much sleep will I need last this night? <laughs> choose my remedy. <laughs> <laughs> should I take a shower? Should I take a bath? <laughs> my remedy. Should I meditate or have 15 cups of coffee? Jeez, my, and then it's 